I have no idea whether or not my grandmother actually watches these videos, but if she does, well, this is my way of telling you thank you. Thank you for just, you know, being there and just being an awesome person, you know? And also, uh, a huge thank you for this. Like, there are not words to describe the amount of joy I got when I saw these on my doorstep. I've been wanting to collect these comics for years, guys. And this is where it starts. So yeah, huge thank you. Huge thank you to my grandmother if she's watching this video. And if not, well, then that's just me flexing that I actually have IDW comics now. So, yeah. That's all I've got. Enjoy the video. If you thought that the, uh, if you thought Sonic Advance 1 was a good game, oh, you ain't seen nothing yet. Because today we take a look at the best in the trilogy, and if you guys remember, one of my top 10 all-time favorite Sonic games. Yeah, today, needless to say, is a good day, because we are taking a look at Sonic Advance 2. I have nothing more to say. Let's just dive right in. Alright. Oh man, I'm so excited. I love this game so much. And you guys are about to see why. Here we go. Sonic Advance 2, let's jump in. Single player. Game start. Who are we going to be this time? Let's see, we got Sonic... Sonic and Cream. We'll be Cream for this playthrough. Oh my god, that animation is adorable. So the controls are even better. It has much wider variety of characters. You can break the game by doing stuff like this. If you know how to use it correctly, I should preference that. But you can still do so much cool stuff in this game. The graphics are better, the music's better, everything is better than the first game, and the first game was already good to begin with. This is just a better version of Advance. Oh, and if you're wondering where that super fast uh, shadow thing comes from, from Sonic Rush, well, this was its origin. When you get to a certain speed point, you just go all over the place. Oh, I almost made it. Okay. You still got your spin dash, but you still have a bunch of other new moves too, depending on which character you use. Like for example, I'm using Cream, and she has the ability, like Tails, to fly with her ears. But she can also do a bunch of other really cool things. She's most useful in boss battles, because Cheese definitely helps her get some extra hits in. Alright, stage two. Yeah, this is pretty much everything that made the first game so good, but now it's even better. It's the best version of these games. And if it weren't for the fact that Sonic Rush exists, I would say this is my all-time favorite handheld Sonic game. 
But man, is it a close competition between the two of them. They're both incredible games for very different reasons. But either way, just amazing game, man. Just absolutely incredible game. If you guys have not played this yet, well, you absolutely need to. It still stands high as one of the best games of the whole Sonic franchise. And the speeds you can reach in here are nuts. Like, like, freaking rush level nuts. When you know how to jump properly. <laughs> Yeah, like, once you master all this game's little intricacies, it becomes unbelievably fun. <laughs> and the sprite work is just adorable. But yeah, there should be nothing more to say. Let's go to Final Verdict. Yeah. Um, needless to say, this is one of the best Sonic games, like, ever. Like, not only is... Or the graphics great, especially for the Game Boy Advance, but you have great music, a great amount of variety of characters, great level design, awesome, fantastic music, some of the best in Sonic. Yes, I that is no hyperbole. The boss battles are good, and aside from the special stages, everything else about the game is just pretty much perfect. And towards the end, you do run into some bottomless pits, but... That is a Dimps problem, less a Sonic problem. This game is the highest 9 out of 10 I could possibly give. It is easily the best game we have looked at in this entire marathon so far. Well, that about does it for today. So, um, let's see what we have next, shall we? Good old handy dandy binder. What is next on the itinerary? for tomorrow. Ooh. Okay, we're going a bit interesting and unique for this one. Alright. Join me next time when we take a look at one of the Stat Squad Award nominees, Sonic Dash. So, until then, thanks for watching. I'm Jack Small of Animation Station. Remember, Animation Station is your number one stat destination for anything and everything animation, including Sonic the Hedgehog. Please don't forget to drop a like, share this video all over social media, subscribe, hit the bell, do all that algorithmic garbage to keep the channel alive, and of course, don't forget to vote for the Stat Squad Awards. You have until December 19th. Go to that video in this list of uploads, and in the pinned comment, there is a link to my both the Instagram and the Facebook. Go through all those posts and uh, leave down your votes. So, yep, that's it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys. Ah, oh, today was such a good day.